Coach, whenever you're ready, if you want to begin with an opening statement, then we'll open up to questions. Uh, just really um, grateful just to have this opportunity again uh, to represent the state of Mississippi and obviously University of Mississippi um, in the NCAA tournament, which I think is a special time for all student athletes that, and we play a lot, we do a lot of, our players make a lot of sacrifices and our staff does, and this is our reward, you know, uh, the big dance. So excited about our matchup with Gonzaga, very familiar with the Zags and Coach Lisa, uh, someone that I have a lot of respect for, and um, I know it's gonna be a great matchup. Even when you know your name is going to be announced, what is that moment like when you see the name come up? Still a lot of anxiousness again. I'm like, oh, come on, I don't do this again. Don't pick us last again, you know, because you're like, wait, is something off with this, <laughs> you know? But just to see us, um, see our name get called, I was just um, just joyful for, for our team and our staff members that had never experienced it and the ones that had, for sure. So, you know, what can you take from last year into, into this year? Because kind of the same way we asked you about the SC tournament. What's yeah. the approach heading into this weekend? You know, here's the thing. Last year when we went to the NCAA, honestly, we were just glad to be in. You know, it was our first time as a program since I've been the head coach. And we were incredibly excited and I think kind of immature as far as, you know, the way our approach was. I know I won't have to talk to my team about respecting their opponent. Uh, Gonzaga beat Tennessee uh, early in the year. Uh, Lisa is a great coach, and they're a great program. I coached at Portland uh, for a year, and we had to go up against them. And, and so like that's a historic program, and we're excited about it. I guess, you know, without going too deep, because mm -hmm. I know you won't give away the schematics, but, I mean, <laughs> just in general, what do, you, what do you know about Gonzaga that you can share? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they have an experienced roster in the national heavy. Uh, uh, they shoot 45% from the field, uh, so that's pretty good. 41% from the three. Uh, so that's going to be a challenge for us. Obviously, I know we want to defend the three-point line. And I think they have about 14.6 assists a game. So we're going to have to try to disrupt that as much as possible. And, and I think that that's going to be a great challenge. And another thing about Gonzaga is this is their sixth uh, NCAA tournament appearance in a row. So, you know, all things being said, we have our work cut out for us. First time since 2004, 2005, that consecutive term appearances. Angel said she was like four years old uh, at that point. So, well, I guess, well, well, I think I was about 21. <laughs> <but no. laughs> what, what, what does that mean to you to, to be a part of, of something that hasn't, yeah. hasn't happened in a while? That's why I came to Ole Miss. I know when I came, and it's so funny, I was telling the girls as we were waiting to be introduced for our selection show, I said, man, I remember the last time there was a big deal up here was when they I got announced and all I remember about it is being in excruciating pain because we were still dressing up then and so I had on heels and I had to walk from the court all the way to the top uh, but I just remember just an amount of gratitude and then tonight Oxford community again shows up and it was just a great experience for our team for sure a little bit earlier today, you know, what's it like to see it grow and the number of people up there supporting mm -hmm. you and your girls? Man, it was incredible. And like I told them, you know, we, we feel a connection. We are a family. And just like we think, uh, and just like how they admire us, we admire them. And, you know, one of the things I ask them to do is just take us in as their women's basketball program because we're going to continue to uh, thrive. <laughs> we're going to continue to thrive and we're going to continue to build this program for sure. What's the key kind of to what up what y'all did last year after making it to the tournament mm -hmm. and going out in the first round? What's it going to take to go further? And I know one win, but, you know, maybe even multiple wins and kind of surprising people. Yeah, you know, we're just going to have to go and, and treat this like a business trip. We have gone out of our way, like going to the Bahamas, um, and playing Utah and um, Dayton and then now and then going to Oklahoma and obviously anytime you get to play at in the PMAC versus LSU or at Tennessee, you get an opportunity to be in different environments, right? And so our team, uh, we're going to treat this 
as a complete business trip. Um, we're going to take uh, Gonzaga seriously. We're going to be focused and ready, and we're looking forward to the opportunity. When you think about the things on the court, I guess they're going to define your success or failure here. I mean, what are, what are the things that spring to mind for you? I just think we got to stay true to who we are. You know, we've won 23 games, and we've done it only one kind of way. Anytime we don't, we lose. <laughs> so um, it sounds simple, but we have to stick to our recipe, which is defending, rebounding, running, and sharing the ball. And I think if we do that, we'll have success. When you go into a day like today, do you have an ideal situation of, like, where you want to go and you have something picked out, or is it really just, like, you play the hand that you're dealt and you're ready to go get them? Yeah, I think for me, as our program is so young, right, we, we don't have time to be trying to be picky, picky and juicy. <laughs> like, it's like whatever. If they had given us a 16 seed and we had to play one, then it is what it is. But we we felt like we would be anywhere from a 7 uh, to, to 9 seed, and so – we were right around where we think we should be, and we're excited about the opportunity, and we're just going to go and, and be focused and, and give it our best shot. I tell you what, I'd rather be in California than somewhere cold. <laughs> Coach. One more. I thought that it was really sweet that you had the team fellowship, as you said, with members of the yeah. community upstairs. Tell me about how much that means to you as a coach. Listen, as long as I'm the head coach here, we're going to be uh, Oxford's team, you know, and, and I know that all, all sports want to do that, but we really like to um, – live what we're saying and so we're in the community I mean our community service we have done a community service project every month um, and that's just not normal uh, for a team they usually do it in the beginning for pitchers and then that's it but we've we've last year last week uh, two weeks ago we did more than a meal and uh, we provided the food and fed uh, people that didn't have a meal in the community so we we are community-based, and I think that that's important, and that's how we're going to continue to build our fan base. Uh, we think, we believe that that's why people in Oxford have a connection with us, not only Oxford, but Ole Miss fans everywhere, and we've even won over a couple Gamecock and Tennessee fans, you know, so, um, because that's, that's what we want to be. We want to be the community's team, and I'm just grateful to be the head coach and leading that charge. Head coach Julian Boy upstairs, you said he loves seeing your women in Walmart and just was like saying hey to them so you're being noticed. For sure, no doubt. And the fact that a young a boy can say it is important, you know. Maybe he'll be a part of our student sections one day. Kind of, I know it's still a long way to go, but just how much pride do you have in what you build here and what you're taking I can't even express, you know, like I, I'm not even allowing myself to really feel that right now because I got to get in, in, in one and no mode. No more pods, right? So it's <laughs> as you lose, you go home, right? So for me, um, I know at the end of the season I'm going to uh, reflect and just uh, take it all in. There have been moments where I've been overwhelmed with gratitude for, you know, just the position I'm in and um, – you know, even I, I remember sending Ross a text when we sold out the lower bowl, you know, because I told him one day I felt like we could do it. And so um, I take seriously being the head coach at Ole Miss. And, um, but at the end of the season, right now, we still have work to do. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. Thanks, Thanks, Let's go.